welcome welcome back to my channel this is Charlotte and welcome to index card Friday week 10 I believe almost hard to hard to imagine we are in the month of March I hope everyone's doing well please forgive everything that is around my desk today I have been working very hard trying to get things into my shop um i completed the two remember we were talking i was saying i was going to use the elegance paper i completed two journals this size but i'm not going to list them oh they're so cute um i'm not going to list them until i get this is the traveler's notebook size. There's only going to be one of these. And um, they're not sewn in yet. I just started this today. And after that, I have this large one. This large, I've never done a journal this size. So this is really kind of fun. When this is done, then I'll have the reveal. And those four will show up in my shop. But um, just in case you were wondering what I was up to, that is what I'm up to. And I have a double this week. So, uh, I, you know, I've spent the whole week really doing these flippy stacked pockets. And I've just had so much fun with them that I figure, okay, you, you guys, maybe you have had enough of this by now. And it's time to move on. So Monday's video should be the uh, stacked bag journal because I need to um, fulfill a couple orders for those. So that should be something that's coming next week. But meanwhile, we are going to do this and the other one and this one, and they are different, but this one, if you were to look at a journal page, Here's your index card. How cool is that? Right there, writing space, writing space. So the only pocket that you have here is going to be this pocket back here, but the alternative to this, and you know I like to kind of give you ideas, um, the alternative to this is if you were to put a paper clip here you definitely could have a pocket here and a pocket here. Easy, easy, or a pocket coming would be this way because here's your spine. So um, just depending upon if you wanted to use a paper clip or a alligator clip or some kind of a clamp. Otherwise, I did not decorate this at all, but you could do that too. You could put... Um, Two tabs on here, which would be really cute. Let me see. Excuse my reach, but I do have something punched. So you could put a tab here, and you could put a tab here. So that would be an alternative, and that would be really, really cute. But let's get started, and let's make this. It should be fairly um, quick. And I have to give you measurements as I go along because I created these and I didn't uh, write anything down. So isn't that lovely of me? No, I didn't write anything down. So let's see. I'm pretty sure this is what I need. So let's just, let's just make sure. And I've been so busy with the journals that I just haven't really paid attention and it looks like this is the right set and it is okay so moving along this piece here for your back will measure if you want to do it exactly like I did it you're going to have a five by a four piece and four is going to be your height and um, five is your width. And then I went ahead and I took a divot out of this, out of the top. And so let me see if I can kind of find the center. So there's our divot. And then once again, you know, 
You know what we have to do. We have to distress. I mean, we don't have to, but we like to. So this is going to be your pocket. I sure hope everyone is doing well. Our weather is warmed up. Had to take the comforter off the bed. And yeah, that's where we are. She is, the heat is on its way. I mean, we still have probably two, three months to go where the nights are cooler, but our days are warming up. Okay, our second piece then is, let me see, did I score this? Yes, I did. Our second piece is going to measure. Four inches high, and you're going to score the bottom of that at a half an inch. So um, when you fold that back, you're going to be three and a half. So you got four inches by five inches, yet again, because this matches. Because this is not a pocket, I'm not taking a divot out of it. But we are going to put one of our um, index cards on the back. If you wanted to do this and you did not want the index card, you could flip this down and put a piece of paper on the back. So you're going to do your um, half inch score line. You're gonna fold it and you're gonna take your ends off. Just so we don't have anything overlapping, that really is what that does. And then you're going to pay attention to how this will fold down. If you want your red line, if you've got the red line on your index card, if you want that to fit like this, then you, and you want that line up at the top, then you have to pay attention to how that comes down like that and as you can see we are it's a five by five but i don't want it to go end to end like that so i'm just going to cut the tiniest little bit off the side and the height is fine we're not going to worry about the height so then i'm going to get a piece of scrap paper and my glue stick and we are going to glue this index card to this, making sure that we pay attention to that red line. If you don't have lined, if you're not using anything lined, you're not using anything that has a direction, then it doesn't matter. You can put it wherever you want. But for me, I need to make sure that this is at the top. So we're going to center this as best we can, and I'm not really going to worry about it. We don't have to be perfect. And if you don't get it right side up, I don't think that anybody's really going to pay that close attention. So then we're going to go ahead and we are going to distress this holding this back and distressing these ends just like that. Okay, so this then is going to lay on top of this one. So Now, I doubt that you probably would use this on a page that would be larger than this. And this is um, standard copy paper that is just folded in half. So it is, what, five and a half inches this way? Two, four, five, yes, five and a half inches. So um, I, was gonna, I was going to say that you have the option to offset this if you wanted to, which is, I, I love to see them offset, but you would have to create something smaller or you would have to have it so the pattern was going up and down and then you could 
like if this was the top of your, wouldn't have to be, but if that was the top of your pocket, you still could have this side pocket, but then you'd have this going off to the side like that. So you do have options when you're doing this, but for the sake of this video, it is going to go just like that. So we're going to now glue this to the pocket. just like that and then we're going to open it up and make sure that no glue, no glue seeped through and if you feel any just make sure it's dried so that it, it your two pieces will not stick to each other then we've got a third and that is this one and we're going to do the exact same thing with this one and the measurements on this one are, this is three and a half inches high, and it's going to be scored a half inch at the bottom. So when that is folded, you're going to have a three inches by five. No, I cut this a tiny bit smaller. We're one eighth shy of five. I don't know why I did that. I'm, this may have been a leftover scrap, but you certainly can make it. Just to make it easier, you can make it five. And then all three would be the same. So that because I didn't, when we go to put this on, we're going to just have to kind of make sure that we have proper placement on that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to snip this again. So we don't need that. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and just go around it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm doing this pretty quick. So if you are the recipient to either one of these, I am using Vintage Photo if you wanted to go back and distress it with a heavier look. Now, because this is like this, this is so cute. Look at that. I don't have to really do anything with this. I don't have to put the index card on it. And as a matter of fact, I'm sitting there thinking, look, what? Well, but it's upside down. So we are going to put the index card on here. But if this had been this way, I may not have touched it. So I know I'm gonna have to shrink this down in the width. That's funny, I must have already done it, because I was going to say, I know I did the other one, and this one is smaller, but look at that, it fits. So let me get my glue paper, and let's glue this down, put it together, and that is that one. Just absolutely love these. So much journal space. I know some of you have told me in the comments, which, and I apologize, I am way, way behind in the comments. I've read them, I just have not answered them. So, um, I know that some of you have tried this and you absolutely love it. That makes me so happy because that's the whole idea behind even doing this, is to provide ideas, inspiration, and something that I think you can use yourselves. So very, very happy about that. And then we are going to just go around this really quick. What had happened, the reason we have two of these is I created this one and I really, really wanted to do one with a um, side tag. And so that is why there are going to be two of them next week to give away. So we're going to do the same thing now. We are going to... Put this where we think it's in the center, although it doesn't have to be. And then we are going to glue this. And then you really have quite a fantastic little journal pocket with cards. 
or um, whatever you may want. Now, if you wanted to, looking at this, if I were going to do what I'm going to, the example I'm going to give you, if I was going to do this, I would take a piece of tape. Always make sure that you fold it out and go through here because you could have glue seepage. seepage. If I wanted this just to be like this in a journal and not glued down, of course, when you turn it over, you've got this. I would take a piece of tape, scotch tape, masking tape, and put it over this. You could put another piece of paper on top of this and make this a pocket. So um, this could be loose in a journal, and then this still could be a pocket. And then you've got this writing space. I mean, look at guys, it's so cute. So here is index card one. And then the second one, and really quick, let me grab a sip of water. This is what I did. The same thing. This is a pocket smaller pocket as you can see this folds down and once again we've got the index card because this is index card Friday and then this folds down and you've got the index card but I wanted it also to have a tag which is what we did here we created a pocket so I mean with all the ideas that I'm giving you with this it's just you can see and it goes on and on and on and on I can still come up with so much that you can do with this so um but yeah we're going to take a little break from it because I think it's time to move on I've got to get the bags going so alrighty this is what, no, this is what we just made. No, this was mine. I'm going to get confused. Here's our pages. So we're going to start with, who are we going to start with? We are starting with, I think I changed this around. I did because it should have been, this should have been pocket, but not a big deal. Doesn't matter. On mine, this, um, I used these two back to back. So this will be the pocket. Let's make sure, see I had just turned it around. So there's the pocket and the pocket measures. Let's see, which way up are we? Sometimes it is just really hard to tell. I'm going to say this is up. So this first page is going to measure four inches high by three and a half inches wide. We are going to take a divot out of the top of this. Just like that. That's going to signify that, yes, indeed, I am a pocket. And really quickly, I'm just going to go around this. The distress ink. Okay, then the next piece is going to be this piece here. Just like that. And this piece is going to measure... Four inches with a half inch score line, so obviously three and a half, but you need that you need that half inch, so four by five, and it gets an index card. See that? Another great place to write. And we want to be sure that our index card is facing the right direction if you care about that so let me grab something to glue with 
and my glue stick. I was working on my uh, my buy me a coffee and um, just for those of you I know somebody from the comments noticed the change I don't drink coffee so I switched it to tea and um, I am going to be sending out a um, as a thank you an index card for um, each supporter so I just wanted you to know that so I mean let, let's just say you buy me two teas it's still one index card and I just it's a thank you from me to you because you deserve it you guys are the best you keep me going you make me want to do this you inspire me you encourage me and um you, you're always there for me and I really 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 appreciate it and I was working on the site and I thought, you know, let's get this going because I kind of had put it together but didn't do anything with it. And so I thought, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, thank you. So you know what comes next. We're going to clip these at an angle. Went and saw my mom yesterday. Day before yesterday, had to have a notary. I mean, she's so cute, my mom. Not the notary, my mom. And she had to sign some papers. Uh, and she <laughs> said to the notary, when the notary shows her where to sign, she says, what's my name? And I'm like, oh, mom, mama, no. No, I didn't. I just said, Mama, you know your name. And she did. But, yeah, we're kind of getting to that point. Okay, you can see we have to cut this off, right? We are too far over. So when you go to do something that does not fit, you're just going to come in and mark it. And then you are going to cut that off because you do not need it. And then you're going to angle in, and then you're going to refit it. But you have to be able to see where your marks are. So yeah, my mom, she's so funny. All righty. So let's see if we fit now. We fit and we do. See, we want to be inside there like that because you don't, um, if you left this on the outer sides, this would be glued and you would not be able to pull that down. It would be stuck in an upright position. So that is why you need to make sure that you fit within the confines of this tab. Or when you went to pull this down, you would have tabs over here and you would there'd be nowhere to go. You couldn't do it. It won't it will not work. And you notice I got rid of my polish. Yeah. It was interesting to see how my polish chipped because it was this finger that the polish was coming off of. And I thought, I must use this finger or get glue on this finger, or maybe I don't know. But I thought that was pretty interesting how that worked. So then on this one is going to be a pocket. I'm looking at this and wondering why I have this. I don't know why I have this, but I do. And I don't see at all where it goes. So um, maybe it goes on the tag. That must be what happens. It goes on the back of the tag. Okay. I figured that out all by my lonesome. So we have this piece here. This piece, obviously, because it is a pocket, has to be doubled. Okay? So what we're going to do with this one, this is going to measure, and I have to stop and think because I have not looked at this, three and a half 
by probably seven, no, three and a half by nine, guys. Three and a half by nine with a half inch score line at the bottom. And you're gonna score it at four and a half right down the center. Okay, so this gets folded. This is a pocket off to the side. So what we don't need is this score. This, we don't need this part that got scored. So we are going to cut it off. And because it goes this way, your pocket is here. I'm cutting the top portion off, not the back. And the reason I'm doing that is if I cut the back off, this then would have to come back and fold onto this, and it would have to go over just that much more thickness. And we don't want the thickness. So we are keeping, whenever you're going to do a pocket, keep the uh, flap on the back side and cut the one off on the front so you don't have that extra thickness to worry about. Because if you do, if you do four or possibly five, it starts to get, and especially if you're using cardstock, it is going to start to get thick on you, and um, you you want to keep it down as much as you can. So hopefully that makes sense. And I know that I'm pretty sure we're going to have to cut this down. Let's check it and see. So this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to take divots because I want you to know that pocket is there. So we are going to take this divot. And now you can ask yourself, do I want the divot to go all the way through? Did I do that on this? You can or you can leave it. And I did. I took the divot out, but you could leave the back on if you wanted to. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. We obviously are not on this because I guess that day I didn't feel like it. So we're going to take that. And then we're going to go ahead, because this is a side pocket, not a top pocket, we are going to put our glue on the bottom and on the top. And the thinner you can get your glue, the bigger your tag can be. And those of you that know me know that I can't glue a straight line, can't draw a straight line, can't cut a straight line, can't glue a straight line. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna distress this. Hopefully we're having fun. I'm having fun. I hope you are having fun. And that you can't wait to get to your paper because you just can't wait to make one of these. So I think for my buy me a coffee, I think I am going to be doing one of these guys just because... They are really fun, and I think this makes a nice thank you. And I think I will do this one that has a side pocket. So, let's see how this fits here. And you can see we are off. So we are going to get our pencil. And we are going to make our marks to the smallest point of that pocket on the back. Because you can, you can look at this and see, if we were to glue that down, you could not flip this. See that? We'd be stuck. So that is why we need to get rid of this. So we're going to cut this and angle it in. And we're going to cut this and angle it in just like that. I tear that I did a little bit but you know what you're not going to be able to tell we're good okay so then I think let me look at mine I think as I've got a index card here we're going to put a little index card on there 
So let's just make sure this is going to fit. Fit there. I am. Well, I can see I angled that the wrong way. I don't know what I was thinking. Angle it that way. I get to talking, get to thinking, and stuff happens. Now with this, you can see if I put it there, my pocket is going to be on top of that. You may prefer your pocket. I am on top of it on this one just a little bit. You could, if you wanted, come over to the end like that. See how you can adjust this depending upon the width of how you're going to use it. You can pull it way over this way. You could pull it over that way. We are going to pull it over just a little bit. And if I do that, well, maybe we won't because then I have to recut. But it would not be a problem. I just would need to cut that little bit off there. This doesn't matter because it's all going to be glued to a page. So I am just going to pull this back. We're going to keep it where I had it fitted. Just like this. We're going to glue it down. And then we are going to put our index card on. So we're going to glue this. We're going to open it up and make sure we didn't have any glue seepage. And see this little bit right there? If you didn't check this out and you allowed that to dry, when you went to open this, then you would have some tears on your paper. So you just want to make sure that you don't have the glue there that you have to worry about. And then I have already cut this down. This is going to go right there. Now you don't have to put anything on here. You can leave this just like this. But what is today? Yes, it is. And so we are. We are going to use this. And do I have my phone up here? I do. If you want to hang around at the end of this, I will show you a picture of my sweet mama so you can see her. So when I talk about her, you can kind of get a vision in your mind of who I'm talking about. So if you're interested in that, otherwise you can just fast forward and it's okay. Not a biggie, but I know several of you have been with me for a while. I've been talking about her for a long, long time. And I just think it'd be nice to have a picture to put with the topic. So now we're going to look at this. Will our tag fit? I have a feeling I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit. Sometimes when you don't put when you when you cut the back off of your tags, your your little pockets and you glue them, they just get so tight. you got to find a way to get in there. Just kind of stretch it open a little bit. Say hello. Hello, hello. I am here. And I have something for you. So let's see how we're going to fit. Yeah, I think this would make a nice buy me a coffee gift. Thank you. Okay, this fits pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, I think I can get away with that really, really well. Now, we could put a tab on here. I did not on this one. I put a little eyelet. You can see that, but I think going through the mail, that's not going to be an issue at all. So we're going to put an eyelet on this. If I can see my... Excuse my reach yet yeah, once again... Oh, I think we better do our paper before we do the eyelet, right? Yes, this is why. This is the back side of that. So we are going to cover this up so it can be used. 
you can write on it. That's the purpose. And while I give this it just a couple seconds to dry, I will pull up my mom's picture and share it with you. That way when I go to cut this, I'm not going to have a mess on my scissors. So I can do that quickly, quickly. And you can see what I am talking about. So for those of you that would like to know, here is my mother. Hopefully there's no glare. You can see her, and uh, this particular day we were out to lunch in her building, and um, yeah, it was a happy, happy, happy day. So that is mom, and now you will know when I bring her up who I'm talking about. Life is short, guys. Don't think it isn't. I think it was, I was on Facebook, and I think Lori, Girl on the Ridge, had posted, and don't quote me, because I know I've, I've got the quote, I've, I've got it, you know, I've got the meaning right, but, I, you know, the quote probably is not going to be exact. She said that um, people that pass away tonight, um, now people, oh my gosh, I hate it when I do this. Okay, people... People that pass away tonight had plans for tomorrow morning. People that have plans for tomorrow morning may not, may pass away tonight. You know, so in other words, life is short and you never know when you're going to go. So we need to enjoy it. And I just want to thank everybody so much for all your support. Um, you, you know, you're there for me and I really, really appreciate it. And I just want you to know that I just, I can't say it enough. And I know sometimes you come in here and you're like, you said that last time. Well, you can't say it enough. You can't tell the people that mean something to you enough. And even though we've met, met, never met in person, that doesn't mean anything to me. You know, you... You are nicer than some of the people I do meet in person. So there you go. And that is the truth. So once again, okay, before we get too sappy here, because I am one that is good for the sap. You probably know that from a lot of the comments. Yes, that's me. Live by the heart. Speak from the heart. It's what I do. It's who I am. And I mean every word of it, so that's that. Okay, now, where did I put my trusty little... Okay, we are going to go right into calligraphy, or what is that word? I'm reading it, and I haven't read it. Calligra calligraph, which I guess this is like... The cross between a typewriter and something else. Maybe a typewriter and a... I don't know. Maybe it is just a typewriter. Let's see. What do we have? Something dull. I don't want shiny, shiny brass. I am kind of... Being a little bit scattered. I can hear the lawnmowers going, which is always, I love that sound. People cutting the grass. Usually you hear it on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay, so there is that. Excuse my reach yet again. I did pull, I thought, yes I did. Pulled, and I think I knotted this. Yes, we are knotted. Sometimes this does not like to stay knotted. Eyelash trim. 
sometimes does not like it. Doesn't want to be in a knot. Okay, guys, look at this. It's just so cute. So let's recap what we did. I'm so excited for this. So we have this one here, which, you know, some lace at the bottom of this, or maybe even like torn paper, or maybe even a label. Let's see, do I have, I have a couple labels here. You know, a label on this. Look at how cute is that. That is cute. Maybe I should just, I don't have two the same, but maybe, let's see which one. I think that one. So I think on mine, I am going to put this. Let's just do this because it's cute. Hadn't planned it, but I was just going to offer a suggestion of something that you could do. And I liked it. So, yeah, let's just do it. You could do some um, die cuts. But I just think that's so cute. Let's see. That's on the one I did. That's not even mine. Where is mine? I don't even know now where I put it. So I have this one. I don't know where the other one is. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll put this one on mine. Or is that? Yes, this is mine. Oh, my goodness. Do you see? Okay, this one was mine. So where'd I put the label? Okay, we're gonna put that on there because it's cute. Or I think we'll put it down there because then we don't cover up the roses. It's like Charlotte, you've had too much caffeine. Well, I had, I had a tea, I had a Diet Coke. So yeah, you're right, too much caffeine. Maybe that's my issue. I'm gonna have to give that a thought. Won't matter. Okay, let's recap. So cute. Look at this, guys. Come on. Like a secret journaling spot. Secret journaling spot and a cute pocket. You have to provide your, your own tag. No tags today, just this one. Look at this. Oh, it is cute. I kind of wish I had a label, another label, but I know I don't. But a label right here would be really cute. I mean, you could just, yeah, do so much. So we've got these for next week. That is what we did. But there are some people I did not hear from. And I know you're all excited about that. And I don't blame you. I would be excited too. Let me put the lid on my glue. Let me get this. We'll take care of this first. This is what we did last week. Remember this? This did have tags. It's just cute. Okay, everything that, that was supposed to be mailed was mailed. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do this, and then I do have another one. I was just remembering from the other day. Okay, so lucky, 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 lucky. Uh, how about Karen Billinger? All right, Karen, this is yours, my sweetheart. Yes, it is. And then, if you remember, I think it was Mondays, I had done the side. Remember I did this one? These flip open to the side. Here is your pocket. And I did not do any tags with these. Um, you have to do your own tags. So, I don't think you mind, really. Let's give this away. How about... I'm looking out in my yard. How about Lori Gordon, 1970? All right, Lori. I have to hear from you, you guys, please. Um, I've got Karen's address for sure. Um, I started going in and writing addresses, but... Don't wait for me. Please just go ahead and shoot me your address, Lori and Karen. And then I did not hear 
from the person that won this one. Remember that from um, last week? This cute little, the little tags that open up like this. Isn't this just as sweet as it can be? Just so, so, so cute. So I did not hear from this person. And so we are going to give this away. And let's give this to Annette DePete. So Annette, my sweet friend, that is yours. If you get in touch with me, I did not hear from the winner of this tag here. So pretty, pretty, pretty lace tag goes to Vicki Jensen. All right, Vicki, you know what you have to do. And I have one more. I did not hear from, let's see. No, I've got two more. I've got this one, I did not hear. So, just to let you know, I will take this off. This will float in the envelope by itself because this doesn't want to bend and it just creates bulk. How about Laura Claiborne? All righty. All righty, that is yours. And we have one more. God, I love giving stuff away. It is so fun. I'm looking at this and I think, no, I don't. I've got another one after this one. Okay, did not hear. So, this one, did I, wait a minute, did I hear from her? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I did hear from her. I think I did. Hold on just a second. I have her address, I know I do. So, where did I just put your name? Where are you? Sorry about that, guys, but I don't want to Yes, I, di I did hear from her. I don't know why I didn't get that in the mail. Sorry about that. But we, we do have one more. We have this one. I did not hear from her. And if you remember this one, so cute. And this one did have tags. So last one for today goes to, how about Nancy Beebe? All right, Nancy Beebe. It is Nancy. Yes, Nancy Beebe. Get in touch with me. I hear from Nancy every once in a while, but not very often. So hopefully you are watching and um, you'll get in touch with me. But uh, yeah, here we go. So we will have a double uh, giveaway next Friday. And I'll see if I can come up with some more things to put in the pot as well. So everybody have a fantastic, fantastic weekend and stay safe. And um, if you pray, you might want to pray. I think there's a lot of people out there that need prayers. There's a lot going on in the world. And uh, I wish everybody well. And thank you again so much. Bye guys.